This is Factory Fridays from Boats.com, the show where we visit builders across America to get a first-hand look at their boat building techniques, materials, and stories. Hi, I'm Marilyn Demartini with Boats.com, and today Factory Fridays brings us to Twin V in Fort Pierce, Florida. We're gonna go see how they build these power cats and what's new at Twin V. Come join me. So we've just toured the factory and I'd like to show you some of the things that make Twin V different. This is where it all starts, here in the design center. Eric here at the computer is taking all the concepts that Twin V comes up with and puts them into a CAD system. So they're developing from their two existing lines, the Classic and the GFX. Those are the traditional outboard power boats and they're coming out with a new 34 and 40 that will be out later this year. In addition, there's a whole new Twin V electric line coming up and you see different versions of it in concept here. In addition, Twin V is developing an electric propulsion company called Electra Power Sports. And those new engine systems or propulsion systems will be on not just the Twin V electric boats, but they'll be available to other OEMs or people who want to repower from traditional outboards to new electric. So this is on the cutting edge of what is happening now in our industry in creating a whole new green environment for boats. And Twin V has been on the leading edge here, and we're eager to see what they come up with later in the year. So let's go see what's happening next in the EV electric department. So here we are at Twin V Electric, as they say, engineering the future of boating. And you can see this prototype hull, as most catamarans, air is induced from the bow, giving the boat lift. This has an, an additional nacelle structure here, this point in the middle, that structurally gives the boat some rigidity. It acts as a wave breaker, and it also provides a channel in the middle where the company can run wiring and any other components from bow to stern. So there is a, a twin V difference here as they develop this hull that is the same hull as the other Twin V outboards that we'll see as we continue our tour. Let's go. While boating upholstery has traditionally been done hand-sewn with sewing machines, Twin V kicked it up a notch here and has done everything in automation from a CNC cutter that can precisely cut every piece of foam for upholstery using a very exact blade and so this machine makes it very efficient to cut everything and also it makes everything the perfect template. Likewise, in upholstery, they've done this with the embroidery machine that can run 24-7 exactly replicating the same pattern so that every piece of upholstery looks the same. So Twin V has done an excellent job of combining technology with their trained staff to create a very efficient and perfect upholstery system. Nothing here is cut by hand, and we're gonna see how they use CNC in their building process as well. That's next. This rotary cutter is used to cut all of the fiberglass for lamination. So it cuts precisely each piece for each model and size that are assembled in kits so that in lamination, every boat has the exact cut of fiberglass needed. Similarly, next door, there's a three-axis CNC machine that cuts everything from acrylics and composite core to flooring. So everything from rod holders to floorboards are exact for each boat and can be easily replicated. So there are a lot of people here at Twin V who have been here for decades so that kind of combination of loyal and dedicated staffing combined with technology creates a very stable, 
and uniform boat. And we're going to see that also in some other technology that they use here called thermoform. Let's see that next. This impressive machine is called thermoform and it does exactly what the name says. A piece of ABS plastic is put into the machine, it's heated to a certain temperature, then the shape is vacuumed by the machine and then it's cooled coming out with the perfect shape of each mold. It's all controlled by this very sophisticated computer and the people who manage each part to put into it. So each of these cosmetic parts come out perfectly formed and uniform. TwinV has also been able to use this machine to manufacture parts for other companies, so it enhances their profitability to pay for this piece of machinery. Another unusual technological aspect here at TwinV. Here in the mold making division, we see the contrast of all the technology that we've witnessed in the rest of the factory. Twin V has built its own hulls from day one and his own molds from day one. This is the mold for the new Twin V 34. It's one of two models that will be unveiled later this year, so we'll look forward to seeing that. After the boat leaves the mold, it goes into lamination. So let's go see what's happening there next. Here in lamination, we again see traditional boat building. All twin Vs are hand laid, and you can see the fiberglass that, that we saw cut being rolled here into the boat. This is a 28 mold, and we've got the structural bulkhead grid being dropped in ready for lamination. And you'll see that there may be up to 25 boats in production at any one time, but at least six will be here being laid up. So let's go see where they go from here. So we just followed the boats through the mold division to finishing where all the polishing is done and all the perfection in each hull is performed. Then it comes into assembly and rigging. So here, all the pieces are put together. The boat is powered. Twin V uses primarily Suzuki. And they use a lot of other very fine vendors like LeBrock Helm Seating, Gemlux Hardware throughout, and Lumar Windless Anchors and Bow Rollers. Another way that Twin V uses technology is here in assembly and finishing because every boat goes through a very stringent review using Twin V's proprietary app. They developed this so that every single aspect of the boat could be categorized and approved, and even the dealer and the customer has access to the app to know exactly where the boat is in process. This experience shows us how each boat manufacturer is a little bit different and rather unique. And that's why we do Factory Fridays. Thanks for joining us here at Boats.com. This is Factory Fridays from Boats.com. Follow Boats.com on YouTube and Instagram to stay tuned for the next episode. Visit Boats.com for more videos and boat-related content. Boats.com. Everything Boats.